Hello live YouTube, what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero and welcome to episode 34 of our relatively new Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play, the most in-depth Let's Play of this game on YouTube. In the last episode, we were here in Maui City on Ula Ula Island and we explored all of Maui Garden and we explored our way through these first few buildings um, here in Maui City. If you do want to check that out, make sure to click the icon up at the top of the screen before we get started today. In today's episode, we're going to walk into this building to the top left of our screen, and then we're going to head back to the library and talk to Lily there. So if you're excited for more story progression, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. We're going to make this into the best Let's Play on YouTube. First off, I can't be getting triggered by this little Rotom Dex down here. Uh, and then I need your help in sharing the video out so more people can know about it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start off with a team recap. <clears throat> First up, we have Frisco, our mascot, the level 29 Oracorio, with Air Cutter Peck Pound and Teeter Dance holding the Sharp Beak. Then we have Jet, our favorite, the level 29 Umbreon, with Assurance Bite, Quick Attack, and Sand Attack holding the Amulet Coin. Next up, we have Arukenimon, the pet, our level 29 Araquanid, with Leech Life, Bubble Beam, Infestation, and Bite holding the Watery MZ. Then we have Negative Vibes, our Pokeball Eating Snorlax, the level 29 Pokeball Eating Snorlax, with Body Slam, Brick Break, Defense Curl, and Amnesia holding the leftovers. Then we have Buttons, our starter, the level 30 Dark Tricks with Razor Leaf Pluck, Tackle, and Ominous Wind holding the Miracle Seed. And lastly, we have Lindsay, the special level 29 Lycanroc Dusk, uh, with Rock Tomb, Bite, Thunder Fang, and Thrash holding the Rocky MZ. In the last episode, we were also giving the Lycan, uh, the Lycanium Z, or whatever it's called. Go ahead and snatch this up. That's 50 totem stickers. Snickers, stickers. Oh, well, hello there. It's me, Samson Oak. I see you've collected some totem stickers. You should come stop by here, here beach. Wait. Holy poly. Okay, hold on. Let me go figure out... I was expecting it to be at 20 that we got it. I wasn't expecting to get it now. So is that going to be... Um, who's the third? Wait, 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 wait. Who was it? It was... Uh, Lorantis? Special Salazzle. Wait, what? That's as big as a real totem Pokemon once you get 50, so I guess it's yours. Huh. I thought it was going to be at 60 that we got the next one. Did I use the Salazzle? Also, that hurts me because of all the time I spent looking for a female Salandit. That actually hurts me. That actually hurts me. I'm not gonna use it. Hold on, I'm not swapping anybody out. We have a family that's been made on our team. The captains and grand trial the <clears throat> The captains and trial guides work hard to stick totem stickers up all around the Lola. Searching them out should surely help you progress through your island challenge. So interesting. Also, I think Rotom was talking, but I really just don't care. I really just don't care. I really truly just don't care that Rotom's talking anymore. It's it's gotten old. It's gotten to the point that like I haven't complained about anything in this game. Anything. I really haven't. Look how big this it's mild? I don't even know what that does. I mean, that's not horrible. That's not horrible. That's not horrible. Mog, Double Slap, to Flame Burst, and Toxic. I don't know, that's a little rough. But... Rotom, talk. Finish talking, please. So you'll shut up. Oh my goodness, I just... Alright. So, let's head on. I'm letting Rotom trigger me again. Alright, now this building looks... 
Interesting. What's in here? Really? <clears throat> Tan Hut! Welcome to Cantonian in the making. This is the Cantonian gym, kid. You can challenge us. You can challenge us if you pay one thousand dollars. You mean by gym? Hey, little tyke. My name is Jim Guy. This is the T Cantonian gym. It makes big and brassy nerves. To it takes big and brassy nerves to take on this gym with your puny power. Be all the trainers, and you'll be the new Cantonian. Let's go. Let's do it. Welcome to the battlefield. Here's your drink. Gave me a soda pop. Enjoy, trainer. All right, what are we, who, who are we leading with right now? I'm okay with leading with Frisco. So this gym, quite obviously. Ah, so this is what a Pokemon gym is like. I haven't had this much fun in years. Ooh. All these trash cans in this room, they give it a mysterious feel, don't they? Actually, it gives me a super triggering feel. <clears throat> Reminding me about how... Okay, I thought you were going to throw out a uh, electric type. But reminding me about how bad Lieutenant Surge's gym was. So this is obviously the thing that we saw in the trailers. Where everyone was like, oh, are we going to go to Kanto? Oh, are we going to go to Kanto? No, we're not going to Kanto. Instead, we're going to the THE Cantonian, as it's called. Okay, let's see what it's all about. Let's see what THE Cantonian is all about. You'll be the Cantonian in no time. Cantonian in no time for sure. Now, if I click on these. Full of drinks and ice. Well, there better freaking be a... Wait, is this just like all the other restaurants in... Is this just like all of the other restaurants? Hmm. Like, because I, I haven't taken any of them on. Am I just like, was I just tricked? Was I just tricked? Also, Frisco is powerful. I don't care what anybody has to say about Oracorio. Frisco is powerful. Oh, I'm not a trainer, just a regular here at the gym. But why are you here? I'm Adrian, one of the gym trainers. I didn't ask your name. I just wanted to battle you. Like, you telling me your name, I feel like you're forcing yourself on me. If you could stop. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Uh uh. I don't need all that. I don't need all that extra stuff. I know what you're gonna do. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna hang out with me, and you're gonna be like, oh, wait, fake tears, that lowers my defense, right? Yeah. You're, never mind, never mind. I probably shouldn't say that. I probably shouldn't say that. I probably shouldn't say that, but I know how your kind is, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean, I know how your kind is. Wants to learn Roost? Now I'm good. I'd rather just use a healing move. <clears throat> okay, well, Adrian was just trying to be friendly, and I'm being a jerk. Uh, so I'm level 29, or level 30 now. Jet, let's go! This is how you raise Pokemon. Wait, hold on. What, what if I... Jet and Lindsay. Yo, let's do a double battle, please. This place is inspired directly by the Kanto region, the main scene of Pokemon Jet. Really? I just heard the music. <sighs> I just heard the music. 
If you defeat four gym trainers, you'll be able to challenge the gym leader himself. I wonder if gyms are going to come back in the Nintendo Switch Pokemon world. I should, I'm, I'm probably going to do a video about this, but I'm wondering if it's going to be a completely different Pokemon universe. I can't imagine that they would get rid of all the Pokemon that they have right now and just completely start over. You know, they... Oh, I definitely just thought I was using Frisco. I should have just used Bite. But anyway... You know, in 5th generation, they tried that. They tried to just throw out everything that they had done before in Pokemon. Like... They did it in the anime. Like, they did everything. I bet I'm not even the first trainer you've beaten here. Why would that be that I'm such a team? About to sneeze. Hey, you little tyke! It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. I'll be your final entertainment for today with my authentic Kanto-style Pokemon battle. What does that mean? I'm about to sneeze. Hold on. If I can catch it in time. You see it? My face getting all... Ah! Ooh, that's not good. He uses a fighting type move, I'm probably. Darn it! Okay. Um. I mean, I should just switch into. or Choreo, but. Wake up slap. It did a whole lot more than I thought it was going to. Knock off. Well, you can't knock off my... Will this heal me enough? I'm gonna try it. I'm certainly gonna try it. Yeah! Huh? Yeah! 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 Ah! 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 I in. Blow him back. I think I'm a physically offensive racket. This thing's probably gonna win. He barely lived! He barely lived! I gotta I have to sort my bag, man. Okay. I'm gonna use knockoff again. I think this will heal me enough that I can take two. Revenge. I don't know what revenge does. It's one of those moves that does something based on something else. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. Good job, Aru Kenimon. Yeah, let's go. And it a crit. That might be the first time this episode that that's happened. Jet grew to level 30. Cool. Ah, my authentic Kanto-style Kanto Pokemon. What does that mean? You had a Machoke. That Kanto-style? I know it's a Kanto Pokemon. You're strong. Okay, boy, you get the Surge Badge. The Surge Badge suits those who've defeated me. It's just a novelty item, but take good care of it, okay? There's something else. You're the first Kantonian, so here are some great food and drink for you. Eater Special. That item contains a shocking combo of 10 soda pops and poke beans. Guzzle down the poke bean in the country on a subject I enjoy yourself. Let's see. Is that what the other. Like. I might need to go back and play through those. Because I, I say I'm doing the most in depth playthrough, but. Interesting. Interesting. That was fun, though. I liked it. Alright, now we head to the library. With Aru Kenimon. Not that I think we're going to be battling in the library. I think I remember what we do in the library. If I needed my map right now, whew, I would be out of luck. <clears throat> ah! 
Domino! I'm sorry, I ended up getting lost yet again. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop. And then I saw this outfit, and they said it was the last one they had in stock, so I bought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it, huh? But the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library, so I guess you could say it was all for the best. Though the library was actually right past the apparel store, if I had just kept going. I'm gonna let Mudsdale do his own talking. Eek! Domino, been a while, friend. Looked like your island challenge has come along favorably. That must be pleasing to the Tapu. So, Domino, who let the who might this be? Oh, hello. My name is Lily. My, my apologies if Mudsdale spooked you just now. Doesn't seem to, doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually um studying the Tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. Oh, that's some fine initiative. I'll be happy to show you the way wherever wherever you'd like to go. My Mudsdale here is as sturdy as all as all get out. She can easily carry it too. Thank you for your offer. Bye, Hapu. Shall we check out Maui Library first, though, since we're here? Oh. I didn't want to walk around. Wait, how did you get here, Samson? You were just on the beach in the other island. I guess I did just go battle a gem. <clears throat> the book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. This is the library. Anyone is welcome to read books. That's right, all inclusive. Came all the way from this far region, uh, far away region called Johto to visit Alola. Is it true you can't use fly? It is. Wow, it's really a thing. On Charizard. Wow, so everyone just rides around Charizard, rides around on a special Charizard that th that have been raised for the job. Sounds weird if you ask me, but I gotta admit that riding on a Charizard would be a blast. Hey, no looking at other encyclopedias. I should have all the info you need. You see Rotom at the bottom? You see Rotom right below me? You see Rotom right below me? To defeat ground types, keep it simple. Old photo dropped out. Old photograph shows a girl, a mudsdale, and a garden. Oh, a photo. Maybe I can find who it belongs to by checking out who borrowed the book. Here, I'll hold on to the photo for you. Oops. Falling in with the sea folk. The sea folk are, or, I think that's the title. The sea folk are mysterious. They skillfully manipulate boats. They skillfully manipulate. They skillfully manipulate boats, riding the waves with their knowledge of the stars, visiting each region of the world. With knowledge of every legend and riddle, they one time received a windfall of treasure. Even they themselves do not know where they came from or when they began their boat voyage. Spring forth from Alola. I became an island challenge champion and wanted to show my vaunted skills in a far off region. But those city trainers were strong. So, as champion, if I had just passed the time peacefully, I wouldn't have had much suffer so much. I wouldn't have had to suffer so much. I say, cursing to myself, but I want to, I want to, I want to leave my claw marks on the world. Today, too, I'll be pushed, I'll be pushed by my partner to exact revenge for yesterday. Rise with my remaining strength. Yes, springing from a... When terrific Tapu traveled, the Tapu guardian deities are each thought to have made their own respective fixed islands to the base. However, that is a recent understanding, and the Tapu of old were said to capriciously visit other islands, play with people and Pokemon, and then fly off somewhere else. It seemed as if for the Tapus, these were aimless trips, but while it may have seemed like wandering, we suspect that the Tapu were trying to facilitate communication islands. Some myriad Z movement. The vigor and strength of the trainer combined with their Pokemon as they bring everything out from out of one another in a move, best game Z of Zenith. Thank you. For 
Look for Pokemon. Alola, young Domino. Since you're out and about exploring on your island challenge, you must already know about regional variants, don't you? Yes, I do. Just as I would have expected. Yes, regional variants. They arise when the influences of a particular region cause the Pokemon's physical aspect and even type to change. If you have a local Persian, the regional variant, I would quite like to see it. One day, Oak. One day. I've heard there is a book somewhere in this library about the re legendary Pokemon said to be Alola's very own. Speaking of that particular book. For free, you can read all these books for free. I swear I'd live here if I could. I don't want to die until I've read every last word of every last page of every book in the world. You better be reading right now. You ain't got time to be talking to me. Because I think I wrote a book when I was in like fifth grade or something. It must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out of the library. Oh gosh, what's her voice gonna be? I can't just... I can't do the voice! Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read! Oh, of course. Well, it's titled The Light of Alola. I'll just, um, read it out loud, shall I? The sky, empty, uh, I'm just gonna read this in my normal voice. The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where, uh, where had been none. A single beast appeared from in it. It was named the beast that calls the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that stole all heaven's light. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end they lost the fight. Then did the beast that brings the dark call its past, oh my gosh, call its pal on the line of kings. So would the beast that had won mark the path for all such finished things. Beast of, the sun, uh, beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union they brought new life, a fragile hare and a lola born that island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Lunala with song of flute. Two tones rang across the altar, a perfect pair, even after or ever after me. I wish I could read! Man, so frustrating. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes, it is. But when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yes, it belonged to my dad. I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had, I had to have all my dad's book move here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I can tell you lots of other stories about Alola, too. Are you interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I know why you've come to Alola. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Domino? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula Island's electric-type trial can only be reached by the bus on Route 10. <clears throat> Alright, let's finish reading around here. Writing a new book for the first time is like setting out on a new adventure, don't you think? Something like that. Something like that. It's only by reading some really terrible books that you learn to recognize the good ones. That statement I can agree with. I can agree with that. Legendary Pokemon in the Tapu. A great and terrible battle waged between the Tapu and the legendary Pokemon. Either side could claim victory over the other. On finding themselves equals, the legendary Pokemon then gifted the Tapu with great power of unknown uh, providence. The Guardian Deities of the Islands Tapu regularly keep themselves closed tight in their shells as they absorb nature's energy. After many long years of absorbing such energy, their shells become hard and sturdy. Tapu and the Ka Island Kahunas Tapu choose the Kahunas of their islands and entrust them with special sparkling stones. The reason they use to make such a choice, however, is not at all apparent to observers. The Guardians and Ancient Kings Ancient times, the Tapu served as the leaders of the armies of each island's king, but if they used their Z-power in battle, it caused great destruction across the islands. Because of this, the Tapu came to no longer lend their aid in the wars of men. See, now I'm getting it. Now my reading is all warmed up. Now my reading is all warmed up and ready to go. Ready to go, 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 Okay, but what's going on with this? What's 
going on with that letter that or that photo that she took? I mean, I know it was Hapu, but I don't know. I guess we'll go ahead and call it an episode right there, stopping at about the 25 minute mark. In today's episode, we did take on the Cantonian gym, and then we came in here and read a whole bunch of books in the library. I think that's the first time that we've met Acerola in this LP. Um, but yeah, that will do it for this episode. If you did wind up enjoying, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. I think I have a name for what we can call the our little subscriber base as we build, as we start to grow. I think I have a name, but I don't think we're going to talk about that until after this series. But anyway, um, we'll see you in the next episode where we're going to head towards the Route 10. Um, and maybe up towards our trial. Our next trial will probably be two episodes from now, but we'll find out when that time comes. Um, again, we'll see you for the next episode of our Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.